showing you guys my 26th birthday makeup tutorial. I love how it turned out. It looks so beautiful and just so birthday-y and so much fun and I'm obsessed with it. Like I keep looking in the mirror and I'm like, wow, I love it. I also dyed my hair for my birthday and it looks like so dark. I was not expecting to go this dark. I thought I grabbed my normal shade at Walmart because I dyed my own hair and apparently it's not the right one, but I really don't mind it. It just kind of looks like I'm ready for fall, like darker the better. But like you guys seen in the title, I am using the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights So Jaded palette. I'm so excited to get into this palette for you guys. I just, I love the design of it. ColourPop really put a lot of thought into this packaging and it shows, like it is stunning. But Kathleen Lights did an amazing job on the color selections, the formulas, placing every single color into the palette so it makes sense. Everything about this palette I'm obsessed with. I've watched about 20 different makeup tutorials just over this palette because I'm like, I love it so much. It is so good. I think this is definitely going to be one of my new favorite palettes to go to. I can just already tell. So I think it is a must and I think you need to go pick it up as soon as possible. So if you are interested in seeing my 26th birthday makeup tutorial, then just keep watching. So starting off with my eyes, I'm going to prime and set my eyelids. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so the palette that I have been so badly waiting to try is the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights So Jaded Palette. I'm so excited to try out this palette. It looks so beautiful. This is the box that it comes in. And then the palette itself looks exactly the same. They did such a beautiful job on the design. I think the crystals just look so eye-catching and so fun. But the inside, I can't even tell you how many times I just sat here and looked at it because I was just so mesmerized by all the colors. I think she did a fabulous job on this palette. This is what the inside looks like. I am so excited that ColourPop is starting to do like these big palettes. I think it's just so cool. You know, their little palettes are really good too because they are just more handy to travel with and stuff like that. But these palettes, I think they are really good just because you get a lot out of them. And if you don't travel a lot, like I don't travel that much, so I prefer bigger palettes. I don't know, just big palettes, they're my weakness. But this is the beautiful palette that we're going to be using today. So I think I'm going to go into the shade, I think I'm going to go into Rose Quartz. So I'm just using this as a transition shade. Just using a fluffy brush to blend it all out. I'm never disappointed with ColourPop products. I mean, especially their eyeshadow palettes. I really think that their eyeshadow palettes are worth the money. I think you just get so much pigment payoff and they blend out easily and you get so many different colors. I can't believe of how fast ColourPop is growing because when I first started watching Kathleen Lights, like all she had from them was maybe a few lip products but she had a lot of those super shock shadows and that's really where ColourPop like started is super shock shadows and then they got into like their lippies and now they're doing like foundations, concealer, big eyeshadow palettes, small eyeshadow palettes, tinted moisturizers now. And it's just insane of how big they have become. But I'm so happy for them and I'm so happy for Kathleen Lights that she got to collab with them on the very first big palette. That's a really pretty transition shade. It looks brownie, but it looks rosy at the same time. It looks a little tan. I like that as a transition shade. That is really pretty. All right, and since it is my birthday, I wanted to do my birthday stone, and that is Sapphire. So this is a shade Sapphire, and as you can see, it is a navy blue. So I kind of just want to throw this all over my lid. It's going to get a little bit dark, a little bit deep, but I really want to use this shade. 
you know she made this crystal palette and it kind of like goes with birthdays and stuff like that so of course I have to use sapphire so I'm just gonna start applying this all over my lid keep in mind this is a matte shade but this so far has a bunch of pigment wow that took like no building at all that is insane I can't believe how pigmented this shade is like are you kidding me Kathleen this is so pretty I can't believe I'm using this palette it just seems so weird like I had this palette sitting in my desk for like a week and a half now. I'm like, mm, I can't use it yet. I really want to use it for the first time on my birthday. So it's just, it's so exciting. Now I'm just going to take a plain fluffy brush and just blend out those edges because I really don't want this blue to have like a harsh line. And of course, some of the lid shade will get blended away, but we'll just reapply that. It's no big deal. It looks a little grungy, but hopefully this look will come together like I think it will. I have an image in my head and I really want to try and get that makeup look. Alright, getting a little sloppy underneath here, but that's okay. We'll clean it up. But since some of my lid shade did get blended away, I'm just going to reapply that. I hope this all comes together because it's looking like I got punched in the eye, but fingers crossed that it comes together. I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and clean up the bottom where there was fallout. Alright, so this is probably going to be like the easiest makeup look ever. I still really wanted to go into a lot of the blues and into the shimmers. So I think I'm going to take Aquamarine right here. Have you guys ever watched the movie Aquamarine? That was like my jam in middle school. But I'm taking it on my finger and I'm going to press it like in the middle. I honestly think I'm kind of copying Kathleen Light's video, except she used the maroons, like Garnet and Ruby. Like she did that all over her eyes and then she put this in the center. I thought it was just so stunning. So I'm like, I really want to do that for my birthday, except use all the blues because I really want to use Sapphire on my birthday. Like I keep saying a thousand times. But I'm really interested in going into this diamond shade. So I'm going to take that on my finger as well and put that over aquamarine. And this is supposed to be a super shock shadow. And I'm literally placing this just in the middle of my eyelid and I'm bringing this shade all the way up to my brow bone. So it kind of highlights my brow bone. I think that was so pretty when she did it. So I really just wanted to do that for my makeup look. All right, so my camera is overheating. So I'm gonna go off camera and do my primer and foundation. For primer, I'm gonna be using the Touch and Soul No Pore Blend Primer and for the foundation, I have been obsessed with this foundation. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply these and I will be right back. All right, so I did a little bit more than my primer and foundation. I also did my concealer and powder off camera. For concealer, I used the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. I love saying it like that. It's just so funny, it's like, Boing. And then for powder, I use the Milani Translucent Light to Medium Setting Powder. And now I want to get on to contour and bronzer. So for contour, I'm going to be using the Shade and Light Contour Palette. I'm just going to be using this shade right here. I think it's in the shade Sombre. I built my own palette, so it's not like the original. But I'm just going to contour with this. This is one of my favorite contours. It seriously just matches my skin tone so well and it blends out like a dream. Right now I'm going to contour my nose. 
Now I'm going to take this shade, I believe it's in the shade Lucid, and I'm just going to use that to brighten up my under eyes. I'm going to use some to brighten the middle of my forehead, down my nose, above my cupid's bow, and on my chin. Of course, for today, I have to use my favorite bronzer. This is the Morphe Bronzer in the shade Icon. I'm obsessed with this bronzer. I think it is a perfect dupe for the Marc Jacobs bronzer. Now for blush, I wanted to choose a blush that would last a long time on my skin, so I decided to pick the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in the shade Always Rosy. They're also pretty pigmented as well. And then, of course, for my birthday, I want to look glowy. So I'm going to be using the Benefit Highlight in Cookie. I have been obsessed with this highlight, like Jaclyn Hill knows her highlights. Alright, now to finish the eyes, I'm going back into the So Jaded palette, and I'm going to go into the shade Sapphire, and I'm going to be putting that all along my lower lash line. Next, I'm going to take Rose Quartz, and I'm just going to take the same fluffy brush and just blend that out. It's not going to make a huge difference, but it is going to make it look a little bit more diffused. Alright, now to finish off the look, I'm going to go back into Diamond, and I'm going to apply this in my inner corners. And then last but not least, I'm going to take Opal, and don't hate me for this, I know it's not eye safe, but I'm a rebel, so I'm going to put it on my inner corners. So last but not least, I'm going to put on mascara, and I don't know what lip product I'm going to use, but I'll come back and tell you guys. Alright, so for lips, I just combined these two products. They are both from ColourPop. This one is called Third Eye, and this one is What's Your Sign? Third Eye was just a little too orangey, pinky on my lips, so I decided to go in with What's Your Sign, and it just made it a little bit more nude for me. But yeah, this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this makeup tutorial over my birthday look. I love, love, love how it turns out. My eyes just look so festive and blue and beautiful and I really, really enjoyed this palette. I think with the shades that I tried out, it was very pigmented. They blended out really nicely. I'm obsessed with how my eye makeup turned out and I have to thank it all to Kathleen Light because she was the inspiration for this look and I'm obsessed with it. So thank you so much Kathleen. Because of that I have created the perfect birthday makeup look for myself. It's bold, it's glittery, it's metallic, it's fun. I'm obsessed with it. I'm looking so forward to using this palette and more tutorials for you guys. So please make sure to comment your suggestions down below using this gorgeous palette. I love it. It seriously is so beautiful. It looks like this could be the only palette you would ever need in your life and you would be just fine. Kathleen Lights did a fantastic job on this palette and I'm so glad to have it in my life now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I liked creating it for you guys. I'm going to go enjoy my 26th birthday now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for me down below. And I will see you guys on my next video.